Hi, welcome back to Wild Caught Vintage. My name is Randy. I am the owner of Rockabilly Raven Vintage on Etsy. And this is part two of an epic haul from a local thrift store here in my area. This haul is going to be predominantly all tops, sweaters, and shirts. If you are interested in what else I got at the thrift store, check out the first part of the haul here. So without further ado, let me show you all of the fun treasures that I found that are related to tops. So first of all, I found this absolutely beautiful slate blue wool, oh, super, super soft cashmere wool sweater. It is from Israel. It is, whoop, it was $1.91. It is a really interesting 1980s tag. And um, it has these wonderful sort of like poofed sleeves that if you see when I tried it on, it made a beautiful silhouette. It was absolutely fantastic. Sadly, the arms are too short for me, which when I pull them down to where they should be, it kills the line of the sweater. But when I push the sleeves back up to where it would be the right length, it has such a beautiful silhouette. So I actually bought this sweater for me, for myself, um, thinking that it would be a great addition to my wardrobe. And sadly, it's not, it doesn't fit. So somebody else is going to get a fantastic wool sweater that is going to look amazing, no matter if you do 70s or if you do 40s. And I'm really excited to be able to add that to the store. Next, I got this awesome, or you might think horrible, 1980s cable knit Pendleton sweater vest and I I love I love sweater vests but I don't actually wear them often and so I got this kind of as a reminder that I do like sweater vests and as you can see when I styled it I thought it styled up so well um, I think it's a great look for the office, for school. Um, I work from home, but I do still dress like I'm going to the office because it puts me in a really good mindset to work for myself and work from home. And so I really enjoyed finding this fantastic sweater vest. Um, it's a little bit too big for me. So I will probably put this in the store. It is a large and I need a medium. Uh, but as you can see, it also has that great Made in America Pendleton white tag. The white tag means that it is for a lady. And in a blue Pendleton tag means that it is for a man. So I was really excited to find that great piece. Next in our extravaganza of tops is this sherbet orange. I don't know if this is reading properly on the camera, but it is the most sherbet orange cardigan I have ever seen in my life. It is acrylic. It is so fuzzy. I hope that the texture is showing up. It is a wonderful, little bit larger, 19, I'm gonna guess 19, early 1960s cardigan. Um, it has moon glow lucite buttons. That's what those are called. And as you can see, I styled it up with my black shirt. Note to anyone and everyone is if you wear orange, do not wear it with black unless you are actually going for Halloween inspired everything. As a former goth girl, I'm okay with this, but uh, when I put the sweater on, I was like, oh, that's a good Halloween sweater, fantastic. Um, I think it's gonna look really awesome with some citrus colored dress or a citrus colored outfit for summer. 
um, just to have a little bit of a, a, a shrug or a, a cardigan to get the you know evening cool air off so I was really excited to find that and I can't wait to put it in the store so all right on the topic of blouses I found this fantastic very gothic high collared ruffle blouse with awesome padded sh uh, shoulders and a, a princess sleeve um, as you can see, I styled this up and it looked really fantastic. I don't know that I would have normally put it with my 1940s high-waisted trousers that I'm wearing um, in all of the try-ons for the blouses, but I was, I still thought it looked really nice. This particular blouse is too small for me by a, a, a little bit. Um, the sleeves are just too short. Our sleeves are always too short. It's just the name of the game for me. There is your tag. It's a vintage size 8, so it's probably a 6. Um, again, it has these great ruffles. And it's just a fantastic, very Victorian style blouse that is completely on trend for this year. So I was excited to find that. Speaking of Victorian blouses, oh my gosh. The Prairie called, and I found their blouse. Look at this huge sailor collar white button front blouse. Um, this particular blouse is so 1980s. It is so uh, Sarah Plain and Tall or Little House on the Prairie 1980s that just I couldn't even there is your tag it is a Karen Scott has good long sleeves it also has a Victorian style ruffled front um, I did go ahead and try this one on I have to say that I normally can just rock any of these Victorian blouses but I'm not so sure that I rocked this one, but this will look amazing on someone, especially with some mom jeans or something. I think it'll look pretty fantastic. And of course it was a little bit small for me, but uh, really, really great piece. I'm glad to have found it and I can't wait to put it in the store. So, ruffle front blouses. I found this awesome, very electric chiffon sheer chiffon um teal blue blouse look at it's like see-through can you see it oh yeah um i have very good luck selling these uh they just are so bright and vibrant and beautiful tag is there for you um this one also has the princess sleeves always a good thing this one is a little bit different because it's actually a button back the buttons are all down the back, which is a very uh, reminiscent of a 1940s style. It does still have the pleating here for a ruffle front, and as you can see, um, color-wise is just fantastic. I mean, you can't do any better than these fantastic 80s do 1940s vibrant blouses. They're just phenomenal. So, so. 1970s doesn't do anything other than 1970s. I found this awesome polyester blouse that has these really interesting abstract painting on it, effectively. Um, it is Alex Coleman, which was a pretty well known brand back in the day. And I I thought, I really did think this was a man's shirt, but there's a, a dart right here at the bust, so it's actually a woman's shirt. Um, I went ahead and styled it up kind of how I usually style men's uh, shirts that I wear, and um, I do not do the 70s, the 70s are not my thing, but I thought that looked pretty okay. You guys will have to tell me in the comments below if you think that it styled up well or not. Um, I don't wear a lot of polyester. I don't really wear it at all. But um, the other thing I was going to show you was there's this little store tag here. And it it's Lane Bryant. 
It's a 1970s Lane Bryant shirt, which is interesting to me because I would not have thought this was overly large. Um, maybe Lane Bryant didn't do large sizes in the 70s. I don't know. I don't. I, I'm sure I've researched this before, but I can't recall off the top of my head. But I thought that was a really fantastic piece. It was so colorful. All right, my last couple of pieces are piece de resistance. If you have stuck it out all the way through this, you're going to enjoy this. If you are a fellow rockabilly, World War II land girl reenactor, or you're really into the 30s, have I got a couple of pieces for you. All right, so. I found these pieces at the thrift store. I'm going to pop in some pictures of me finding these pieces all in the same area in the same rack at the thrift store. I, I was just blown away. So to start off with, I found this hand embroidered, can you see it? Hand embroidered, hand knit, 1930s sweater it is so beautiful look at these look at these beautiful little details it has this great little pattern across the crew neckline and i wanted this to fit me so bad you have no idea you don't because i wanted this to fit me but it is much too small for me i i wasn't even willing to try it on to show you guys because i was worried that i would damage it um, there is no tag. Again, um, I'm very, very sure that this was homemade. Um, I date this to the late 30s, early 40s. Um, I would guess right before the war because of the materials that were used. Um, it is all cottons and wools. So, um, absolutely phenomenal piece. Somebody out there is going to put this with a skirt and a lovely jacket and it is they're just gonna look amazing so absolutely beautiful piece cannot wait to get that one in the store also from the 1930s i could not believe that i got this thing on is this pink absolutely bubblegum pink cardigan it has a tiny little wound that i am going to fix before i sell it this is hand knit it is an open lattice style. I think it that might be what it's called. I am I am not a fiber artist. Um, that look at these unbelievable antique buttons. Aren't they great? Um, as you can see, I tried this one on. I couldn't believe that I could get it on. I was it oh so delicate. Um, Again, it has this one little wound right here next to the button uh, that I am going to just very gently with some pink wool thread tack it back down. Um, of course, when I sell it, I will mention that I did a repair on it, but super high-waisted, as you saw. Um, absolutely fantastic 1930s cardigan. Just, I couldn't believe that oh my gosh the buttons are so good i gotta show you again look at these buttons oh um it, it's that fingerling uh wool oh it's just oh i can't it's so good so 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 good um last in the uh tops department is this oh my gosh i don't even know how i'm gonna be able to show you guys this without putting you'll see it when i try it on all right, so what is it? This is a letter sweater from the 1940s. All right, look, it has a name embroidered into it. Um, it was Dusty Lobins. Dusty Lobins, have your letter sweater. But now that I've said that, I feel a little bit bad because I'm going to guess that maybe uh, Dusty Lobins is no longer with us. I don't know if it was a man's or a woman's, um, but it's 100% wool. Tag is just fantastic. It is in 100% perfect condition. Has these great contrasting wool pockets. Absolutely fantastic Lucite buttons. Aren't they great? Um, I am looking 
Yeah, they're Moonglow Lucite. For a second, I thought they were Bakelite. So, um, I tried it on. It fits. I might keep this. Um, I absolutely might keep this. Uh, it is, it is a heavyweight letter sweater. Um, my high school colors are this maroon with gold. So, um, one of the high schools. I went to two different high schools. So, um, the high school that I went to in Toll House, California, our colors were maroon and gold. So, um, I don't know. I don't know if I would put my, my stuff on it, but I just thought it was fantastic and I had so much fun trying it on and realizing that it fit. So I really hope that you have enjoyed all of the treasures that I have brought to share with you. If you have any suggestions or any ideas for things that I might be able to make a video on, whether it's styling, how to, if it has to do with clothing, hair, makeup, from the 40s to the 70s, I can probably do it. So I'm 100% open to suggestion on some ideas that you guys might like to see. So please feel free to um, start a discussion down in the comments below. If you know somebody who is a fellow thrifter or a fellow vintage lover, maybe consider sharing this video with them and uh, have them join the conversation with us. Otherwise, I am so glad that you are here. Thank you for sharing your time with me. I hope that this video has blessed you in some way, and I look forward to seeing you in the future. Have a fantastic day. Bye!